Yeah, I was just saying, what a difference a year makes, right? You know, you have more than you ever had, and now you have less than you've ever had. But that's okay, you know. The, the positive to it is, is there are some young guys that are getting more reps than they ever would have normally, uh, you know, had in a normal setting. So, you know, we're going through our lumps at times, but they're they're getting better because of it, you know. And so, and some guys are having to play multiple positions, and sometimes that's that's a little unfair to them. But in the long run, it's going to benefit them and us with our depth. So it's just a matter of, you know, we're doing a great job at how we're practicing and, and not wearing them, wearing them down too much. So, you know, we're not getting in the same amount of team reps we might normally get, which, you know, I hate it for all the other positions, but it's just something we have to do. And so, you know, this is a chance for us to get good with our technique in a more individual time. Well, it, it's, it's normally the cohesion is huge, but we're, we're unfortunately – with the guys that are out right now, we're, we're missing the cohesion with them. But the, the, like I said, the flip side of that is the experience and depth the young guys will get from this ultimately will help our depth as the season goes. You know, so, you know, a young kid may get a third of the reps he'd normally get this spring. Now he's getting all the reps. So when we get to fall camp, we get to the season, he's had a lot more reps. And then if he's asked, maybe he wins a job or he's pushed into service, he, he's had those reps and he's ready to go. I was, I was pleased. With his progress, you know, throughout the season, you know, we, we knew we we knew we had to get him ready because, you know, we, we we were like I said, I felt like I was living in a fantasy world with having that many guys, you know, and you know, there's going to be attrition as the year goes on, and so he played a little bit throughout the year, and and then when it was his time to start in that game, I thought he responded well, you know, it, it was a really good front he was going against. I think they were second or third in the country in sacks and all that good stuff, and uh, and you know. Was a perfect no, but he showed some some good progress, and, and I thought he did some really good things. Enough that you felt good going in this year that you can really believe, and this can be our guy. And that's the case. We didn't have a ton of games that were just really lopsided to where you would have played those young guys anyways. You know, what would have happened is the guys that were starters would have played every rep if you didn't have the, the experience and depth we had. So I, I don't know if they necessarily lost out on the, the reps they, they would have got if we wouldn't have had that many guys, to be honest with you. We, we were able to get a guy like Spencer Brown some quality reps, so I think that was a plus. You know, right now we're dealing with really redshirt freshmen, so they were going to redshirt anyway. So that's kind of where we're at, you know, and we'll have, we'll have, we'll have a full allotment of guys once uh, summer comes along. So we'll, we'll be in good shape when that happens, and in the meantime, we just get these young guys better. So, you know, and again, Spencer and Nick Samak are, it's, it's crazy to say uh, Spencer's the veteran out there, but he kind of is, and, and Nick has done a good job. But, you know, uh, Kevin Wigginton, uh, Brandon Baldwin, um, Gino Vandermark was doing some really good things um, until he, he's out, and, and you saw some improvement there from them. Uh, Dallas Fincher was a guy that uh, played, was playing both center and guard, very athletic, and he's finally gotten his weight, and, and he's, he's pushing that 300 mark to where he can be out there and help us. So, you know, we, we have a couple guys that were defensive uh, linemen that were over there with us right now getting some reps, so uh, um, Brunning and Lefebvre, so... You know, so those, those guys we registered last year are getting some good quality reps. You know, I see him as like like that that group last year was really like A and B or co-starters, or there was really no difference. So that's the way I saw it. You know, he after the first game in twenty, he he went the rest of the way. So he's got a lot of reps under his belt. He had played before that as well. So you know, he he's playing center and guard. So he's he's cross training as well. In fact, he's athletic enough. We could throw him out there at tackle if we needed to. We've even talked about it just to get some reps for emergency purposes. So uh, he's handled that well, and, and he's really trying to to take over that leadership role that that you know we, we those older guys that kind of Matt and some of those guys had. He's really trying to be that for the guys, and he's done a nice job with that. It's unfortunately it's looking like you know we may get one more, but that's probably going to be about it. And, and you know. There's probably some guys that could be out there if it wasn't if it was a game week, but it's better to get them healthy and ready to go. So there probably won't be a full allotment of guys this spring. We know we're going to be okay once we get to the summer, so we don't want to do that with him at this point. You know, if it got to the like I said, we were able to take a couple kids that were over there doing a nice job for them that are running with their twos and threes that are coming over to help us to give us some bodies, and so that's worked out okay. It doesn't change what we do, you know, as far as the scheme was the scheme. You know, Cam was that guy that, you know, he, he sometimes his vision was, was, was special most of the time. There's plays that 
there's a hole there, and he's supposed to go there, but he sees something else, and he makes that cut, and everybody on the headphones is like, where the heck's he going? And then like, oh, okay, so we're good, you know? So it is what it is. So you, 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 and then there's times that he missed a hole and he didn't get anything, you know? And so, but you, you'll take what he brought to the table all day. But it didn't change us. Now, schematically, we might put in some things that we didn't have in that maybe can give us, hopefully manufacture some of the things he brought to the table. So that may happen. But the base schemes and stuff will stay the same other than the things we're going to wrinkles that we'll add throughout spring and fall camp. That's a great question because that's the challenge, right? Like, you know, like this one half of my brain is like feeling sorry for these guys that they're out here and, and there's nobody else here. But the other side of me is I can't waste this opportunity. And if I just baby him and we, we accept mediocrity, then that's what we're going to get. So we can't do that. So Coach Tuck has done a great job of putting us in a situation where we've been able to limit the reps to where the expectation is when they do go, they should be full speed and full throttle. And in turn, I got to coach them like there's 20 out there. Like we, we can't, we still, I don't care if there's five out there or seven, we have to get better every day. So we have to approach it that way. So we talk about it, but when we cross those white lines, it doesn't matter. Whoever's out there has got to get it done. You know, Baldwin is really, you know, really tremendous size. You know, he's, he's probably 6'6-ish six, six and he's 310, 12, 15 pounds. You know, he was a basketball player, so he has athleticism. He has a high care factor. It's just a matter of him, you know, just getting, in, just getting consistency is really the big thing there. And then Wigginton, Wigginton has really showed improvement in everything, technique and, and assignment, right? And it's just a matter of him getting stronger. You know, he happens to have to go against probably our best D tackle every day. So that's always not going to be a good matchup for him. But at the end, it will pay off for him as long as he, he don't lose his confidence, which you know we'll do a good job of keeping that. So, and then you know Ethan Boyd on the other side is another young guy that you know big, long. He's really gotten himself in good shape, and he shows some real flashes of being a really good player. But like all young kids, consistency is the key, right? Just be counting on them to do the right, make the right calls. Use your technique and play at a high level. That's that's tough for any lineman, and especially for those young guys. So, that's that's the thing we're really looking for for them. I think it's it's, it's a it's a, an advantage for all of us to have him on the staff. And you know, I see a, a energy in, in those guys, those you know guys he's working with, and the techniques they're applying. And and so you know, my thing is, it's the iron sharpens iron. So the more that he's doing, that we have to prepare and and and, and block will ultimately help us. And then for me as a coach even, you know, once this thing slows down, my, I want to get with him and, you know, what are the things that, that give you problems, that give those guys problems? Because even as long as I've been doing this, you continue to, you got to grow and learn, right? You can't be stuck in your way. So I really feel like it's, it's really brought a good energy to, to the team. And I really think it's a way for us really, it, it, even for recruiting, it's great. You know, even offensive line wise, you know what I mean? They know that, that there's some interest from some big time guys on that side and that interests them. So I think that's, it's really brought a lot to the table. I'm that far yet just because of the numbers. You know, we do some stuff where we go one on one and stuff like that. And so, you know, coach is working on his stuff. We're working on this stuff. But I think as we go through the, the summer and fall camp, we'll evolve to that for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, unfortunately, like it's, it's just the, the musical chairs and the guys that have been moving in and out it's just the spring, there hasn't been a lot of cohesion and rhythm. So I know that's got to be frustrating for them a little bit, you know, and and but then there's been some flashes. And, and so really what you're trying to do with the spring is make sure everybody understands the playbook and what we're trying to accomplish and then understand the techniques it's going to take and then continue to build on it this summer. So when fall camp comes and we have a full allotment, then we can really get get that cohesion and working together in that field that we're talking you're talking about. I always feel like it's it's not. You know, I've been blessed to have some really good running backs in, in the places I've been. And it's, it's never been like the old line is going to adjust to that running back or vice versa. It's like, here's the scheme, and then we just got to execute it at a great level. And then those guys bring to the table what they bring to the table. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not as complicated as that. It's, it's a matter of us executing and the backs executing, and then their skills will come to light. It's a great question. I do feel like playing offensive line as a freshman is probably one of the hardest things. And just, just because of, 
you know, you're coming in and it's, it's, it's learning a whole new offense. It's a, like learning a new language of communication. And then you're 17, 18 years old, and sometimes you're going against 21, 22 year old men, and it's physical every play. So that's a lot to ask of guys. And sometimes you have guys that are ready. So we always say we're recruiting them to play. But if they're not ready, then, then yeah, we, we get that red shirt. And I think if you had like a perfect blueprint, if you, you were in a, in a situation where you had an old line and you had great depth and you didn't have injuries and you could redshirt a guy and then play him as a redshirt freshman and then he was a dominant player for two or three years, that would be the perfect template. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen very often, right? So some guys are pressed into duty faster than maybe they're ready and we just got to make it happen. And, and some happen to be ready faster than others. But that's probably the, the, the perfect template, yes. Yeah, that was the thing that was that was interesting. As well as we ran the ball at times, you know, we weren't as good in that third and one, two world that we should have been. And so that was a major study for us in the off season. And it was it was interesting because there was a there was a combination of reasons, you know, and and sometimes it was, you know, just bad up front, right? Sometimes it was, you know. The back didn't go to the right place. Sometimes it's the QB now with the right check. So there's a lot of things that went to that. So we definitely want to be better there for sure. And that's a point of emphasis, no, no question about it. That, that's your hope. You know, that's your hope that we're in position to be able to do that for sure. So I, I think, like I said, come summer, we should have the personnel to be able to do those things and, and be good at what we do. So, you know, we have high expectations for the guys that are coming back from the injuries and the new guys that will be joining us plus with the people in the backfield and the tight ends and everything else. So I, I do think we will be in good shape. It's definitely him in the spring, you know, so there was no, like we said, there's, there's no excuses. We're not letting anybody make excuses for him, and, and it's time to go. You're not a freshman anymore. So, uh, yes, they understand the, the, where we're at, and, and they should be competing, you know. It's not like, okay, we got to be ready to be backups just because some, some guys are coming back. Let's win the job. It, nobody has a starting spot at this point. You know, we're going to go into fall camp, so any of these guys that are returning that played before, if they think they're just going to be able to walk in and rest on their laurels, it's not going to happen. So I, I want those young guys to challenge them. That's, that's the hopes for sure.